Hey everyone! So I am back here today and I'm bringing you my February TBR. So my TBR might be a little ambitious given the fact that February is a short month, but you know what? Whatever. I don't care. Well, see how it goes. Okay, so the first couple books I already read, but I thought I'd show them to you anyway, but I'll go more into my thoughts in my February wrap-up, so let me show you those. The first book I read was Kalahari by Jessica Quarry. This is the third book in the Corpus Companion series, and it actually isn't released until later this month. I think it's February 24th. I got an advanced reader's copy and read it, right after reading the first two books in the series and I really enjoyed it. The next book I picked up this month was Fairest by Marissa Mayer. This is a sort of prequel story in the Lunar Chronicles series focusing on Levana's point of view and she's the villain. And so this is the next book I read in February. Now I'm currently reading The Wizard's Dilemma by Diane Duane, the fifth book in the Young Wizard series, and I'm about halfway through with it. I think I just reached the halfway point right before filming this video. It's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Now the next few books that I'm planning on reading, I don't have any specific order, but I will just show you what I would like to read this month. So following The Wizard's Dilemma, I'd like to read A Wizard Alone by Diane Duane. This is the sixth book in the Young Wizard series. I'm taking a class called Narrative and Popular Culture this semester, and one of the first books that we'll be reading is Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I think there are a couple of the Alice stories, including um, Alice's Adventure in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, so I will be reading this for school, and I actually have to read about that much by tomorrow, so yeah. I also received an advanced reader's copy of The Tragic Age by Stephen Metcalf, and this is a contemporary YA that's coming out March 3rd, I think, and so I will be picking this up at some point this month so I can read it and review it. Another book I'd like to get to this month is Wolf in White Van by John Darnielle. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is, from what I've gathered, sort of like a science fiction-y book that looks kind of from the description similar to Ready Player One. This was a book club book a few months ago for the school book club, but I never got to actually read it. So I thought I'd pick it up this month finally, and um, it's really short, so it shouldn't take that long to read. And then I also have a couple of ebooks I want to get to, so let me show you those. I got A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray from the library, so I don't have the very beautiful cover that's gorgeous in front of me, but I do have the lovely ebook, and I heard the story is really good, so I'm hoping to get to this at some point. And I think it's due at the library. Um, at the end of the month sometime, so I definitely want to get to that before it returns itself. Another book I have an advanced reader's copy of is Bone Gap by Laura Ruby. So I got this uh, courtesy of HarperCollins off of Edelweiss, and I'm really, really excited to read this. It seems like it's going to be a really good magical realism book. I kind of started it, I read about 10 pages, but I was really in the mood to read what I'm currently reading, which is a, The Wizard's Dilemma. So I put this down, and really the only reason I picked it up was because I had my Nook with me, and I was waiting in line for something, and I wanted to read because I was bored. So this was a book that I knew I was going to read soon, so I picked it up. But yeah, I'll definitely be going back to this really soon. It comes out March 3rd, so really excited for this. And then finally, a book that I'm really looking forward to reading is A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab. So I have a preview copy that I got from NetGalley, and it's only the first 150 pages, so I'm probably going to read this closer to the release date, which I think is also February 24th. But I'm really, really excited for this. It seems to be a really awesome like fantasy book dealing with parallel universes and that kind of stuff, so I'm really excited for this book, and I will definitely be picking this up towards the end of the month. So here are all the books I plan to read in February. That's all I have for today for my February TBR. My TBRs tend to be fluid, so I don't always read everything I say I'm going to read. So we'll see what ends up happening at the end of the month at my February wrap-up video. Thanks for watching. Bye!